Uh, so a packet stacker is a device that takes a pipe that has a whole bunch of little bubbles in it like this, or packets, I guess. I'm going to use packets and bubbles interchangeably. I'm trying to switch to saying packets, but, you know, I haven't I haven't really got that into my, uh, into my semantics yet. Um, so if you have a whole bunch of little packets in a, in a pipe like this, and you want to stack them all together so that it comes out with just one big packet. I created a thing that is a packet stacker for an arbitrary number of different elements all in the same pipe, so you can stick them all together and just get big packets out. Uh, but in order to explain that, there's other things I have to explain first. And particularly, um, there's, a, there's a major difference between a gas shutoff and a gas valve that makes gas shutoffs extremely valuable for doing this kind of work. The way I'm using it in this, in this video is just on all the time, so I'm going to connect a, a NOT gate to it just to make it, uh, just to turn it on. Um, the way the valve works is it will, take, it will take the packets in this pipe and always add them to the packets in this pipe. And a shutoff doesn't work that way. If there is anything in this pipe, it will block it from moving the packets from this pipe to this pipe. Uh, so, for example, if I take if I if I take these packets out of the pipe so that it's just uh, yeah okay that's working. Um, when this pipe is empty, then it will start moving the small packets up here into the other pipe, just like that, see? Now, it seems like, on the face of it, uh, intuitively, that that would make it hard to use for a for stacking packets, but actually it's very valuable. If you had, like, a big packet, a full one, coming along in the bottom pipe, and just a little tiny one, like this one, coming in the top pipe, it would prevent them from merging together. So you can use it to take big packets out of your packet stacker. When you're merging packets in a situation like this where it's all the same element, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I would say, let me, let me just demonstrate a few of those. Uh, there's one that I really like that I'll start with. If you, just take, if you just take two bridges and put them over each other like that, and you connect the inputs and you connect the outputs together, and, um, and then stick a gas shut off up in here, uh, then use a uh, element sensor right right there. Basically what we've done with these two bridges is we've we created a buffer space, right? So this pipe will fill up until the buffer space gets used. And that buffer space is right there on that input tile. So it's not used until the pipe gets filled up. So once the pipe is filled up, in other words these packets are full, and the buffer space gets used, then we want to open the shutoff valve and let some of the packets through. I'm not the only person who came up with this. It's, apparently it's intuitive enough that a lot of people did, and if you look around, um, you'll, see, you'll see examples of this in other, in other videos. But uh, there's, but I mean, I'm showing it to you because I think it's a valuable one. It's nice because it's all in line with the pipe, and you can just sort of add it wherever you need it. And uh, I think a, a video about packet stacking wouldn't be complete without it. Uh, so, so here it is. Um, Oh, I need to set up the, the element sensor. This is natural gas. So when it detects natural gas, it will open up the valve and let, let some packets through. Um, one thing that's a little unintuitive about this is how come there's an extra length of pipe right there? Like, what's the purpose of it? And the answer is, uh, when, the, when the gas shut off, shut off opens, um, it's going to let three or four packets through. And if it lets four packets through, then, like that time it was only three. When it lets four packets through, um, then those packets are sitting there, 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 and there, and they'll be full. If there, if you didn't have that extra length of pipe, then the last packet would be the one that comes from, I guess, this space, and that's not necessarily a full packet. And since this is a packet stacker, it's meant to only let full packets through. Uh, I only got three that time. And uh, so if you didn't have that extra length of pipe, it, you'd be getting a small packet through instead of a full one, and then that's not what we want. Um, anyway, so that's a, that's a cool one. Let me show you the one that uses the abilities of the, the gas shutoff, so I can kind of show you why that's a good thing. Um, the simple way to do this is, all right, there's a gas shutoff, and I think I deleted my my knot gate that's going to keep it open. So I'll make another knot gate and I'm going to put a, uh, a gas valve right here so that it wraps back on itself. And we'll turn that on. Now here's the cool thing. So the gas shutoff will fill up, basically fill up this little buffer area, this, this little short pipe above. And when it gets full, then 
You see it let, it let one big packet through. Once that area gets full, then the gas shutoff can't merge anything from the bottom pipe up into the pop type, top pipe anymore, because that's the difference between the way a gas shutoff works and a valve works. The valve will merge, the gas shutoff will not. And so, um, as a result, this, this full packet doesn't doesn't go into the into the buffer area and it just goes down the pipe. Neat, right? So this is um, um, this isn't in line like that other one I showed you, but this is a very still a very good uh, packet stacker for um, a pipe that has only one element in it like this. By the way, in case it's not obvious, this works just as well for liquid pipes as it does gas pipes. All of this does. All right, now you can actually expand on this to do multiple elements. You can take this design and expand on it. Uh, but I don't think, I mean, I think the, uh, the, the big one I'm going to show you is probably easier to set up, and, and uh, so let's just go straight to that. Yeah, all right, so let me show you uh, a device. Let's look at it this way. Everybody's probably seen something like this before. In my mind, I call it a ladder. Um, you can make a, an input pipe uh, wrap back on itself like this uh, so that packets that are not full, they have a chance to go up into this other pipe and move back and get and, and supplement packets that are coming down the input pipe until they are, uh, until hopefully they're full and it lets out full packets. But this actually, and this actually works very, very efficiently until it gets all the way full. And the problem is the only time packets come out of it is when it's blocked because it's totally full. So the only, so even though it's very efficient for, for stacking the packets um, in practice, it doesn't work very well because you can't get the packets out without making it inefficient. Um, so the device that we need to supplement this and make it great is something that can look at these packets as they're coming down the input pipe and just grab the stuff out, when, grab out the packets that are full. Like in the game, a gas valve will give you, like if you set it to 500 grams, it will give you up to 500 grams of every packet that comes to it, uh, but not more. What we need is a valve that gives you exactly 500 grams or nothing. Right? Well, I guess ideally we would like it to be a thousand grams because that's a full packet. Uh, so I designed this valve. Um, here's how it works. So you have, it's kind of tricky and you have to, um, let's look at it this way. I'm, okay, I'm going to start with a valve. So this valve, I'm going to set it to, uh, let's say 500. So I'm going to try to grab 500 grams at a time only from this pipe. Um, this is a detail-oriented little device, so pay attention to the details here. I'll do my best to explain them. And I have to have a dupe change that setting for me. I want it to be 500. Hello, Mr. Meeseeks. Whoops, wake up. Do your thing. Great, thanks. Goodbye. Um, so we have we also have want a uh, a gas shutoff and actually let's let's not do the gas shutoff yet I'm trying to think of how to explain this clearly now normally I'm, I'm going to put the valves kind of far away from these this next set of valves kind of far away so that we can see the gases as they move around normally you just build these things right up close um, so this first valve that's 500 grams per second. It'll take 500 grams per second at most, um, but maybe less, and bring it down this way in the pipe. Now we want to be able to check that and make sure it's 500 grams. Like this uh, this bubble of hydrogen that's, that's coming out, that one's only 400, 104 grams. This one, this uh, natural gas, that is 500 grams, right? So we want to detect that this uh, packet is only 104 grams and reject it. On the other side, as you can see, so the, the, the packets that go up from this point is the remainder. So we get up to 500 grams going down and if there's any left over from a packet it goes up. Um, and you'll notice that the there is nothing left over from the hydrogen packet. The whole 104 grams went through the valve and went down through this pipe. So I can check to see if this natural gas packet 
if it is 500 grams by looking at whether or not it has a remainder left over. The way that I do that is I'll use a gas shutoff. And this is one of those neat properties of the gas shutoff. It, well, the neat property of the gas shutoff, just like this. And um, so these packets are timed so that they will, the, the, the packet, the 500 gram packet that we're trying to get and its remainder from being going through the valve will reach this gas shutoff at the same time. Um, I'll put, all right, right now I'm just gonna, here we go. Okay, so here comes that natural gas packet. It's going to meet with the, um, the natural gas packet here is going to meet its remainder in the, in the gas shutoff. And you can see what happens is the gas shutoff will not be able to move the packet of natural gas into the other pipe where the remainder is because the remainder blocks it, right? So we get, we keep that packet of natural gas in this pipe. Now the next thing coming up is that packet of hydrogen, or that we use the entire packet of hydrogen so there is no remainder in this pipe, right? So the, the gas shutoff will be able to move that packet of hydrogen from this pipe into the remainder pipe. And there it goes, there's the packet of hydrogen, right? So the result of this is in this pipe, we end up with only packets that were that are 500 grams exactly and everything else goes into this pipe so you can kind of it's kind of like this whole device here is a valve that that, that produces um, two outputs one of them all the packets are the same size whatever amount you set the valve to and the the rest of them is just the remainders the leftovers so I'm gonna make this smaller because it doesn't need to be that big so I'm cram it into a smaller space here um, by the way, those valves that I put on the end, this valve that goes here and this one that goes here, they don't do anything except establish the, uh, the direction of flow. Uh, without those, then the, the gases would flow the wrong way through these pipes and stuff and it would be a mess. We can set this valve so that instead of getting 500 gram packets, we're going to get 999 gram packets. We can't quite do 1,000 because in order for it to work, there has to be a remainder. Um, okay, I'm going to use, uh, I don't want to, yeah, okay, that'll be fine. Spawn, spawn a dupe. Wake up, guy. He'll set that valve for me to 99. And, uh, and goodbye. Sorry, Gossman. I'm going to get rid of this. This I, I call this the stacker, right? That that part of the, the, the packet stacker. Uh, because its job is to stack those bubbles together. Packets, stack the packets together. And this... I don't know what to call it. Stacker valve? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so now the same thing is working, except we're getting packets that are 999 grams. It works exactly the same. So this will be our output from the stacker, by the way. Ultimately, we're going to get 999 gram packets. Um, so the only thing left to do is figure out what to do with the remainder here, right? All of those remainders that are left over in this in this uh, uh, pipe. And what we want to do is just wrap them back onto the input and have a stacker merge the things together. Now that, that ladder stacker actually, in my experiments, it turned out pretty good. Um, so I think we'll just, let's just go ahead and do that. But I'm going to do it slightly differently. Um, I'm going to use a, a serpentine shape so that we can cram a lot more bridges in there. Um, I think the best way to do this is to let's do it like this. Yeah, that's good. And one, two. In in my experiments, like four bridges basically did the job, uh, but I'm going to go with eight. It's like hardcore. And uh, that will, so that that's that should stack the remainders together with the incoming uh, packets. Normally, like I said, it's um, these don't work very. This kind of a uh, stacker doesn't work very well because the because you can't take out the full packets from the output until it's um, until it's completely full. But since we have this this valve thing, uh, we can take out the full packets from the input. So it turned so we can use the, the the good characteristics of the stacker. And we're getting oh look at that we got a little hydrogen bubble. How did that happen? 
Oh, okay. Our stacker actually is not working properly. So the stacker, you see how the when the um, when the bubbles in this pipe pause for a second, that's where the errors happen. Yeah, they, they just stopped again. Did you see? And uh, I'm actually fairly surprised to see that, uh, but I know because, like I said, this this worked for me really well before. But uh, but I know how to fix it. Um, I'm not sure why this one is different than the other ones that I did. But let's just put in gas reservoir. And this is sort of the, you know, the, the fail safe will definitely take care of the situation uh, device. Let's just go like so. All right, and now, now there is such a buffer for the, uh, for the gas remainders that there's no way what's going to, well, oh, I, I disconnected the power and broke everything. All right, and now I think we've got it. The gas reservoir is such a fail safe, like this pipe will never stop and so we'll never make mistakes in the valve. I would like to do more science on the stacker, like maybe there's a better way to do this. This, it, I mean, this is pretty naive and amateur. I've done a little work with that kind of thing, but I don't know. I don't know what is a really efficient stacker. Uh, I'm just not sure. In any case, in I don't think that the reservoir here will ever have much in it. Right now it's zero everything. It contains nothing. The stacker is officially doing its job perfectly. And the output has nothing but full full bubbles. Would I take that back? They're bubbles of 999 grams. Uh, and hopefully that doesn't drive you crazy. It's so close to perfect, but not perfect. Uh, but I find that quite acceptable, honestly. Um, I have some ideas for how to get that last gram in there. I believe it'll be pretty elaborate and probably not worth all the extra hardware. So you want to help me out, figure out how to do a stacker that's very efficient uh, so that we can reliably get rid of the <laughs> the reservoir, which doesn't seem like it's necessary anymore. Look at how good it's working. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of that just to just to temporarily to test if Oh wait, now it's now it's filling up. How is that possible? Obviously there's some more sciencing that can be done on this thing. I hate having a reservoir in here. Um, and I know it's not always necessary, but I just I just don't know the characteristics of what has to happen to make sure that it's not necessary. So better stacker, a little more sciencing, making sure this doesn't have vulnerabilities. But look, it's pretty neat, right? Multi-element packet stacker. Anyway, I think that's about all I have to say about it.